Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on Blender Shader Nodes. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make this kind of oil slick effect using just a few simple nodes. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's clear this material and add in a new one. And what we want to do first is set our material here to black and turn the roughness down to almost zero, something like that. And then what we are going to do is add in our normal manipulation, which will give us our kind of oil slick sheen to it. So to do that, we are going to input the geometry normal, just like this. And then we're going to input a mix RGB node set to linear light, of course, so that we can then manipulate it using a noise texture. So texture, noise texture, there we go. And this noise texture will use the object uh, coordinate. There we go, texture coordinate object, hook that into there. And if we put this into the linear light and then put the linear light into the normal, we could see that, let me just make this menu a little bit bigger once the shader loads up. As you can see, the normals are being manipulated by this. So let's set the detail down to something like zero and then the scale down to something like two. And already we're getting an interesting effect but not necessarily the effect that we want. We need to do one extra step for that. So to do that, let's add in another noise texture and set this to 1D or one dimension of noise. Then we're going to hook up the factor into this one and the color into the linear light. So now, once this loads up, we can see that if we scale this up, we're getting this nice ripple effect but it's a little too strong, so let's just set the detail up so that, and maybe the roughness up a little bit. So now we're getting that very cool uh, oil-like sheen to it. There we go. And that's the simple way to do it, just like that. Just two noise textures, one set to 3D, one set to 1D, and then manipulating the normal using it. Also, you can use Control H to hide everything besides the socket that you're using. So if I just do that right here, it makes the no tree look a lot simpler and easy to use. Hopefully this is big enough on the recording. Here we go. And let's use a couple of frames to keep everything well and organized. There we go, that and that. And one extra thing that we can do is add in a math node right here. And this will offset our noise texture so we can actually animate this. So if I were to put in a hashtag frame divided by 50, there we go, or that's a little too fast. Let's head to 150. We can see that this is actually kind of animated. But now that we have this, we want to make it look more like oil. And oil kind of has that rainbow look when you look at it as a certain direction. So to do that, we just need to change a few things about this. First of all, we need to not use a principled BSDF node. We need to use something called a glossy shader. I know, right? In the in the 2.8 days, that's kind of unheard of because everyone uses the principled node nowadays. But if we have this and an emission texture as kind of like our base color, then we mix those two with a Fresnel node. We basically get, as we can see here, and I turn this down to zero, we basically get a glossy shape or a glossy shader that we can control the color of just like that. And since we have this now, let's plug in the normal right here. And then what we're going to do is plug in the color to the glossy BSDF. Or the, yeah, to the color input of that. So let's use the hue saturation node, plug in our color into here, so that we can manipulate it once we plug it into the color input. As we can see, we are getting the effect. We could turn up the saturation more, but it's a little strong, so I think that should be pretty good. We could always turn up the linear light to make the other effects stronger. And yeah, that's basically the entire effect. Again, a little short tutorial right there. And also if we just chop this part out, we could set this to any kind of colors. Like this is like an amber color. I found that that looks very cool. Green looks very cool. Just a ton, a ton of options with this. So yeah, go around and play with it as much as you want. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe, check out my Twitter account, my Gumroad account, and my Instagram account. On my Gumroad account, there are many free and paid products that you can get. You can just download them, projects that I've worked on. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I will see you in the next one.